The massive breaking news from the top of this hour that Chelsea are in advance talks with club legend Frank Lampard to return as caretaker manager until the end of the season, just over two years on from being sacked up. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Jump in that! Jump in that, bitch! Jump in that! Jump in that, fire! You, you know what I, I think we're gonna have to do this one like a dora the explorer explanation episode right okay what the hell hello kid you know what the word of the day is can you guess it no the word of the day kid is relegation can you say it with me now kids relegation good job at what point did drunk dialing your ex become a strategy oh my oh my god you know when i went to sleep yesterday my biggest concern was on the lineup of Chelsea to be managers or even caretakers was Nagelsmann, Zinedine Zidane. Heck, Mauricio Pochettino was my biggest worry that he should not be manager. Even Brendan Rodgers from Leicester City was a concern for me when I went to bed last night. 12 hours ago, those were my biggest concerns. I wake up, Frank. You know what, devil, not today. Not today, no. Mm -mm. I wake up, Frank Lampard is the caretaker, or they're in talks to be, for him to be the caretaker till the end of the season. I can't speak because I'm, I'm shaking right now with rage. I, I. Hey. <laughs> Frank Lampard. Now, for those of you who don't know, Frank Lampard, when I called him, when I called his drank dialing an ex, Frank Lampard was our manager for the 2019-2020 season. He came through when Chelsea had just been handed a transfer ban for about a year. So we had to pull players from our academy for that season. And he came through and chose talent to fill up for the season now for those frank lampard as the choice the same choice for anybody are you kidding me because he did such a great job with everton Be what was his win streak for everton oh my gosh holy jesus this man managed everton for 20 league games 20 league games he won Three. So you have a choice of multiple managers, endless lineups there, but four better than him. And what was is the guy who just got fired was supposed to be a long term project. You know, when I started this season, Jesus, my biggest concern was shutting up Manchester United fans because they kept telling us oh you guys got an american owner oh you're going to have so much fun <laughs> you haven't seen the best part of this yet and i was like shut up we'll be fine shut up you title contender wannabes shut up now look who's laughing now look who's the butt of the joke now we're almost at the tail end of the season and i look like a raccoon coked out We had choices. We had a choice if it was a project, get a new manager now who can work with the current team and see their ability before deciding what to do next season. This American turd is running the club on autopilot. As useless as tits on a nun, man. And for those of you in the comment section who might say, Oh, give him a chance. 
give him a chance. You're not being positive. Okay, Sour, let's be positive then. Let's be positive, all right? Frank Lampard, when he was originally hired, was still supposed to be a caretaker. And then he was made manager and he worked with the squad in picking a youth, youth, the youth from our youth league, from our youth team and built the squad that eventually Thomas Tuchel came and found and won the UEFA Champions League with. So let's give him credit for that, right? He is a Chelsea legend. He gets his props. He did the job. He came, found the talent, but eventually didn't know how to use it and got fired. But Thomas Tuchel come, came in and found that same squad and won the UEFA Champions League with them, then got fired for disagreeing with the owner. Then we call up our act. You know what? I'm trying to be positive. So, yes. Let's be positive. Positive that Chelsea's absolutely fucked. <laughs>